Father in Jesus' name. Father in Jesus' name. Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The rock of Fiji, the I am that I am, the only one of Israel. We thank you because you are almighty. We thank you because of your beauty, the beauty of your name. We thank you because you have prepared a place for us in heaven. We thank you because everything you are saying here is, is for the preparation of heaven. Lord, we say thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. We ask you, our saving grace, that you help us, you speak to us, you direct us, you open our eyes, you open our ear, you open our, you open our, eyes, you open our, ear, you open our heart to understand the mystery of your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. By the special grace of God, my name is Apostle Peter Daniel from Nigeria. I'm speaking from Nigeria. This is Heaven and Air live program, which we used to do every day from Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And on Saturday, we used to do our, we used to start our program up by 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m. to 11 or 12 a.m. So the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, by the special grace of God, we want to speak, we are treating the book of Galatia and the Galatia, the Galatia and the works of the flesh, the works of the flesh. Yesterday, we talked about adultery, adultery, adultery adultery we go deep in adultery yesterday and i asked those people who have uh, who want to hear more about the adultery topic to go and search for the first one the first there's the first message i did on adultery i did it in ghana i did it in ghana go uh, it's called uh the, the 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 consequences of adultery so you can go there and go and search and uh, and uh, and uh, and they wash it, it will help you a lot. Let somebody open their Bible to Galatians chapter 5. Let Galatians chapter 5, verses uh, uh, 19, 19, 19. We are reading 19 now. Galatians chapter 5, verses 19. Let me read. I'm talking about the works of the flesh. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery fornications, uh, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, rot, strife, seductions, heresies, envy, murderers, drunkenness, Revelion and source like of the issues I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Today we are talking, we want to pick uh, the next, the next thing, fornication, fornication, fornication. Uh, you, I uh, see this topic fornication is more, is more deep. But by the special grace of God, I will speak to you. I know God will help me to explain to you and go a little bit deeper today, today. Do. Now, fornication, what is called fornication? Fornication is the act of having a sexual intercourse, a single man and a single lady, a single man and a single woman, a, a, a lady, having intercourse together. A single man, listen to me very well, a single man and a single lady. It means a man who has not get married before and a, a lady who has not get married before. Both of them have intercourse to each other. They have intercourse, they have intercourse, they have intercourse. They have intercourse. They have sexual intercourse to each other. Now, this is called a art of intercourse. It's, it's called fornication. Now, the, 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 this, these people cannot be, they cannot, you see, they are seen that uh, is limited to some people. Fornication is only, oh, 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 is, oh, oh, oh. fornication is only limited to a single people who has not getting married before, who has not been married to somebody else before. Maybe, he, 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 you know, 
you you might you might have a man in your in for example now you might say you might have a children for a man maybe four five six seven eight children but the man has not paid your dowry that kind of art is called fornication you see for you to be living under the umbrella of a man does not mean that the man is your husband does not mean that the man is your something all what you are doing is called fornication you, you are not doing adultery adultery is meant for those who are legally married legally married legally married those who are legally married you can they can qualify them to be called adultery but uh, for those who are not legally married maybe a, a, a woman is live, living under your your umbrella and you have not paid a dowry she is to be called any sexual intercourse between you and that lady is called fornication is called fornication. Whether you have a boyfriend and, and, and you are doing boyfriend and girlfriend and your boyfriend have sexual intercourse with you, the kind of sexual intercourse both of you do is called fornication. So anything you do, this, this issue of fornication does not have to do with age. Whether, whether you are old age, whether you are younger age, whether you are 100 years, you are 100 years, you have not married, you are 80 years, you have not married, you are 12 years, you have not, you have not married, you are still very small, you are in primary school, you are in secondary school, any sexual intercourse you do, you do, you do, is also classified to be called fornication 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 and also there is another fornication that the bible talk about another fornication that the bible talk about that the bible talk about now okay it's talking about adultery but it's also the this issue this area i want you to read is is for men for uh, for married and unmarried it's the same uh, way of sin. Open your Bible to Matthew chapter two and uh, chapter five. Matthew chapter five verses uh, verses uh, verses twenty seven to, tw uh, to 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 twenty nine. Then I read. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery. You hear that? But I say unto you that whosoever look on a woman to lust after her, you, you ever look on a woman and lust after her, has committed adultery with her already in his heart. Hallelujah. Let me stop at that 28. It said, whosoever look at a woman and lost after her has committed adultery. Somebody asked me a question yesterday and he said, sir, if somebody is having a, you know, uh, maybe the person is a, is a married uh, lady before, is a married lady in her husband's house and probably uh, she fell into one man's hand the man did not have sexual intercourse with her, but uh, but uh, the the man probably maybe do a uh, touch a private part, touch the private part, touch her breast and touch her something like that, and make the lady probably do something that thing with her and make the lady release that. But the both of them did not have a you know normal sexual intercourse. That is that called adultery too. Then I told her. It is called adultery. It's the same thing as you having the two something coming together and you having to play with the uh play with each other. It's just the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's called adultery. Now, if the back, you see what is here now. Now, the person that Jesus Christ was talking about here is not even doing what uh, the person asks now. The person here just look at the woman and lost after her and begin to think that I want to have sexual intercourse with her. And begin to think of in her head and begin to think of having intercourse with her. The Bible said he has committed it. Okay, the question is that, sir, 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 I am a person, I do use to, I have no fornicate, but... But I used to masturbate. I used to masturbate. I used to masturbate. Whether you masturbate, because I know masturbation will not just come without you thinking. 
you must have think about somebody. Think about somebody you like, somebody you fight for, somebody you love, somebody you see, maybe you, you see a guy and you so much and you look at this guy must be very handsome and uh, you, you begin to think about him and begin to think about him and you start your body and rules and you begin to masturbate. Thinking about that person and having intercourse with that person in the spirit, you have committed fornication. And now, if you look at, if you go and watch, go out to my YouTube and press uh, Apostle Peter Daniel. Go to YouTube and press Apostle Peter Daniel. You will see my picture there. Go there, subscribe to the place and go and look at the area I teach about fornication. I use about more than one hour plus, one, that, one hour 30 minutes to think, uh, teach about it. Teach about it, the details, to details. I mean to details. So now, in this short time, I'm going to explain to you the reason for negation, for negation, sexual intercourse, is a dangerous sin you should never attend. Oh, that's it. See my hand. Do attempt it at all. And if you have attempted, it, I'm, I can tell you are not free. You have to be. You have to be free. You have to pray a prayer of a deliverance prayer, a serious deliverance prayer, to be free. Because if you did not pray it. It is danger. A part of you are selling your soul. A part of you sharing your destiny. A part of you sinning against God. You have committed a dangerous sin. Which can affect you, affect your calling, affect your generation, affect your children, affect your grand grandchildren, which can become a cause. There is difference between abuse and a cause. A cause, a cause means some. A cause means a, 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 a generational cause that attaches to somebody or to his generation. The a, the sin of fornication is a cause that attaches to that person and a generation. Listen to me. Whether when you do it, you are a Christian that time or you are a sinner that time. No matter the kind of area you might be, whether you are a Christian or you are a sinner, and you commit fornication. You are on that this kind of course, a dangerous course indeed. A dangerous course indeed. I have told you before, this issue of a fornication, a pastor can still deliver you and pray. You can still be set free. Pastor can command you to, you know, and pray and cancel it. It's possible. Um, but uh, it is true. God is one of the, God is the person who can set you free anyway. The issue of fornication, I will just be shortened because of the time. The issue of fornication, when you have intercourse with somebody, you agree with that person. Now, for, for example, it's almost the same thing with the adultery of a matter. For example, as I'm talking now, do I am delivered. As every man is, every woman being on earth has their own generational cause in their family. Maybe in their family, they used to get mad at the age of 30 years. Maybe in their family, they used to get mad at the age of 35. Maybe in their family, they used to die at the age of 25. Maybe in their family, they used to be poverty. They used to go poor in their family. Now, now, maybe in your own personal family, your own personal family, you have your own personal cause too. Now, if you have intercourse with that man that in their family, they used to, they used to go mad and you have intercourse with together, you are going to see intercourse, it means a... Inter intercourse is only meant for those who God has assigned and joined together. So when you have intercourse with that man or with that sister, you see it with a, a cause. You see it with a cause. I'm not talking about Christian alone, that the thing you did in your Christian life or in your sinful life, it, 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 it's to both party. Whether you are Christian, whether you are sinner, it's both. You are going to see it from that sister or from that brother, the cause in their family, the demon that is chasing that man around will start chasing you too. The, the, the cause, the masculine that is chasing that sister will start chasing you too. Because you have half intercourse, you have become one with her or with him. So, and this cause will not just stop at your head. It's going to also, it's going to follow you to the extent that uh, when you have children, 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 it will also work in their life. Now, the cost, the amount of causes you are battling with now is because of the fornication that your father had done. 
or your mother has done. And that is the kind of uh, cause that is, that is affecting you right now. Are you with me now? Are you with me now? So that is the kind of cause that is affecting you right now. Now, imagine now when you are maybe now the, the, your own personal problem, you that you have you have not married, you, you have not committed fornication before, your own personal problem, you are still battling with it. You are still asking God that God should save you and deliver you from your family cause. You have not delivered yourself. Now you now have intercourse with another person again that have Bye -bye. Own every cause. Do you know how every that cause is going to be upon your life? It's going to be a severe cause. Now, the issue of fornication is so dangerous that anybody you have intercourse with now, now, listen to me. Now imagine a man who has slept with a five or six or seven ladies in your lifetime now, as we're talking. Maybe the lady you slept with is as amounted to be seven. Now, Every past, let me say, every personal pe person, maybe a single person, have like a uh, ten course in their family. Let's say ten times seven, that is seventy course, seventy problem. So that man will share in that seventy problem, plus the personal man's own problem. That is why anybody that is used to fornicate, we always have problem in the function. They will always have problem. There's no way they can do it. They will always have problem in the future. I mean, anybody that used to fornicate, they will always have problem in the future. Not only that, the children they give back to out of fornication, the children they give back to out of fornication, they too will start fornicating. It is a it is a automatic, it is automatic. It is an automatic logistic. The children that was born out of fornication, they will be fornicating. If you are pregnant out of uh, fornication, she too, that side you have, we also impregnate somebody out of fornication. That daughter you have too, we also impregnate, we also have pregnant out of poverty, out of uh, fornication. Because it is a cause. It is very deep. Now, sir, what of the person who have fornicated with a prostitute before? If you have ever fornicated with a prostitute before, I'm telling you. You are, you are in a danger, dangerous atmosphere. Because you need a serious deliverance. Sir, what of if a woman have an intercourse with a man that used to fornicate that is a womanizer? Maybe the man, the fornication, the person has, the fornication, the fornication, the, the person has has been more than 20. Maybe she has fornicated with more than 20 women or 30 women in, a, in his lifetime. And the man, that kind of man have intercourse with you. Ah, my dear sister, you are under a serious cause. You need deliverance. That is why sometimes when that's listen to me now, that is why sometimes when you are praying and you are praying, you see, it seems as if your prayer is not answered. It has answered. That prayer is destroying many, many causes. It cannot finish that cause because maybe the cause in your life is more than one hundred causes, for example. And maybe you pray today. That, that prayer will call you the strong one. You pray tomorrow, you destroy another one. It will, be, it will be destroying it to lead one by one, one by one, until you finish that destruction. That is why you start, start seeing that you start having testimony, your life change around, everything turn around for you. For those who, if I want to talk to a virgin now, a virgin, a virgin, a virgin. If you know you are a virgin and you have not married, do marry a man who is a humanizer. Or else he will, he, will, he will use his own matter to affect your own. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So the issue of fornication is one of the dangerous issues because it was with blood. And let me tell you something. The deliverance of fornication or adultery matter is more difficult to do.
In fact, it's more difficult to pass through because they are demons that is in charge of that thing, putting you in bondage, a serious bondage. It takes a lot of prayer and fasting for you to be free. That is why you shouldn't do it at all, attempt for no reason. Because if you fornicate, that five minutes fornication or that IS 30 minutes fornication you did that day can put you in a everlasting, I mean, in a lifelong course that you might not be able to lose yourself till you die. So you have to be very careful. Don't even give yourself to fornication at all. Run away from it seriously because it carry a lot of course and serious thing. Many people are barren. They are barren because they have committed a serious offense in fornication. It's not those people who are it's not all those people who are for, are, are, bought, are, are bought in pregnancy that are also under the kind of uh, not uh, able to, you know, not able to uh, uh, to have children. But those who are fornicating too, they are also in that realm. Then number two, if you are fornicating or you are so much fornicating or you used to commit a masturbation, Anybody doing masturbation is also classified as fornication. So if you used to commit a masturbation, you are also a serious attack. You are also a serious bondage of, uh, of, of these kind of things I'm talking about. And uh, masturbation will also sell to you the spiritual husband and spiritual wife. So if you used to masturbate, automatically you have already asked spiritual husband or spiritual wife. And which can destroy your destiny, destroy your life, and destroy your heaven. I pray you will not go to hell in Jesus' name. In this, I'm going to stop at this point. So you are watching me, everyone watching me, you are watching me, Apostle Peter Daniel. If you want to get deliverance from all these things, make sure one, you subscribe to the channel. Then number two, come to worship with us on Zoom, where we used to do our deliverance prayer every day. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Every day. Every day. Every day. Listen to me. The issue of fornication, adultery, is more dangerous. Masturbation and sexual loss. If you lost at a woman, whether you have half intercourse with that woman or you have not half intercourse with her, once you have lost half of her, of him, you have already do it and you are on that course. I pray the Lord will help you and set you free in Jesus' name. Can you bow down your ears and repent of your sin? And if you know you have done this, whether you are a Christian or you are a sinner, that does not matter. You still need to pass through deliverance. You still need to what? Pass through deliverance. God bless you. And remember what the Bible said. Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. It said, for no unclean things, we go there. If you are under a course, you cannot make heaven. So here it, you have to break your course to make heaven. I want you to see after me, if you are a sinner, say after me, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, please forgive me. I, I surrender my life to you today and ask you to write my name in the book of life. Lord Jesus, I ask you, God, to show me mercy and help me to work accordingly. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Now, as you have prayed the prayer, you are a child of God. I pray. I want to pray with you too and pray for everyone who is watching me. You can say amen. Don't do stop at my prayer. Used to, you need to go and beg God seriously on the past thing you have done and uh, for him to set you free. And if you see that it is it, your conscience is disturbing you seriously, then you have, you have to be delivered. I mean, go for a serious deliverance prayer. So God will help you in Jesus. Let me pray for you. Our Father in heaven, we appreciate you because you are heavenly Father. We thank you because you are omnipotent, omnipotent. You are God that liveth for all, for forevermore. My Father, I pray for those who are listening to me right now. I pray for them right now that you visit their life, you show them mercy, and you deliver them completely in the mighty name of Jesus. You set them free and let them be able to see the light of heaven. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, 
I pray. Amen. God bless you. Subscribe to my channel. This is Apostle Peter Daniel. We used to do our program of explain to you every day. Make sure you subscribe and please and please support us in this program. God bless you. Bye-bye.